Hey everyone, what's up? We are back with another KR video because the Counter Side collaboration with Guilty Gear Strive has finally released Remlito, Valentine, and Eno. So let's go through their abilities real quick. Obviously, you guys can look at the amazing art they have done with uh, the characters inside the game, models and whatnot, chibis as well. Looks pretty fucking accurate. Pretty nice too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Remlito Valentine is a 4 cost striker. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming they're also... Oh, she's a counter. Really? Interesting. I thought they would continue with the soldier feel, considering that um, counters will have watches, but I guess what makes her different is that she's technically... Well, I guess I shouldn't say anything. If that's a spoiler or not. Although, we already no. No, it's, it's old. Uh, People already know. Basically, she's artificially created. But maybe that's what makes her a counter? Who knows? Maybe people who... Soul's a soldier, right? Or is he a counter? Who knows? But anyways. You have your regular uh, normal attack. I'm not sure if it's AoE, but it might be. Uh, actually, can check in a bit. If she is or not, but that'll be later. And then, uh, so her passive, Gatling Combination, after normal attack, next a uh, few normal attacks will be multiple strikes, which is enhanced in proportion to distance away, max of three strikes. Okay, the first strike is 70% damage and a normal AoE attack. The following one is 50% enhanced. The last one is 100% enhanced and AoE of normal attack. Okay. She has 50% damage reduction and immune to hit stuns for five seconds after her entrance. Okay. This is a really nice... Hmm, after six times of Gatling Combination, this effect occurs again. Okay, she is a really nice striker. Really nice uh, auto attack based character. You can probably build a lot of ground damage reduction and damage on her, and a lot of the attack speed set, I would assume. The attack speed set would be pretty good on her. Uh, special skill, Saburato. Um, she makes very strong strikes. It does additional damage of 20% of enemies' current HP points. Ooh, she is... She shreds defenders. Okay, nice, nice. Ultimate skill, Calvados. It is a very strong, but has no effects further than 30 meters to Ram Lethal. After Calvados, Ram Lethal's attack speed boosts 20%. Okay, yeah, so really good attack speed character. Um, Very nice laser beam attack. Really good. Okay, I, I really like her. They, they definitely uh translated a pretty... Most important parts of her into the game. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's actually look at the skills real quick. Yeah, so her, that's her laser beam attack. That's her... Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. So her ulti is a very big laser. Nice, nice. Two big lasers. So then we got Eno next. Okay, so we have her ulti there. And we have her special. It's basically her other ulti. Um, okay, that's cool. Ooh, so they did add this whole portrait for her. That's really nice. Her chibi looks nice. And her in-game model looks fabulous as always. She is a mech counter double class. Oh, okay. Okay, you know, four cost sniper SSR. She is a mech counter first double class character. Okay, I like this. I like where it's going. Okay, I can see it too. I, I can see why as well. Normal attack, antidepressant scale will be stronger in proportion to time after, you know, makes it. Um, So I'm assuming it's either more... I'll probably check in game, but it's either more auto attacks or more, uh... And it's probably how long she's on the field, to be honest, yeah. Max of 20%. Don't know how much it would be. I can probably tell if I look at the picture, to be honest. Maybe not. But it seems like she gets stronger the more time girl goes. That's really nice. Kind of like a mech team. Really nice. Passive, her attack will be 75% stronger. Within two meter radius, and she'll get a six second hit stun immune. And also, dust attack makes enemy airborne. Okay, makes sense. 12 second cooldown. So, they gave the dust attack in Guilty Gear 2 E. Now, that's interesting. Dust attack is now true damage, ignores defense, and slows down enemies' movement by 66%. That makes sense, but it's interesting that they gave the dust attack to E. Now, uh, special attack, ultimate fortissimo. She jumps into the front side, makes a strong shockwave until landing. She'll be immune to everything. It also does true damage. Yep, that's her first ulti. Megalovania. She shoots countless shockwaves to the front side after hit to Megalovania. 
uh, or mania enemies, which has less than 15% of HP, will die. Okay, yep. Sounds about right. That's her second ulti. They they did an absolutely amazing job of translating uh, the skills from Guilty Gear Strive to Counterside. I really like it. I, I fucking love it. I love Guilty Gear so much. Um, This is great. Uh, They sound really busted, but as it is, they are collab characters. People will pull them for the reason that they are collab characters, but also because they should make them pretty good, considering that they are you know, collab characters. So, um, I'm actually going to pull up the game real quick. If they're currently out or not. So, uh, I'll see you in a bit. And if there is any, then I will tell you. Uh, and if there isn't, then I'll discuss it in a future video. Hey guys, I've noticed a lot of you guys aren't subscribed yet. And I really hope that you guys do. Because I really want to grow this community. I love Counterside. And I love seeing uh, all the comments and support that you guys have been giving me. So please do subscribe all the viewers that have been coming to the videos for uh, unknown reasons. Maybe you just recommended videos or you found off someone else's video, which is nice, I guess, YouTube algorithm. Um, other than that, I really do want to also advertise that the superior Discord for Counterside is... We want more members, so we don't mind if you guys um, join. Please DM me if you want to join, whether or not it's for a guild, we are semi-comp, we have competitive guilds if you want to be competitive for PvE content and PvP, we don't, we don't have a rec uh, requirement for PvP. Other than that though, yeah, no, we, we want to be a big community and we want to have more people chatting with us, so please do join if you guys uh, want a guild or just a Discord channel to talk about Counterside with. We have casual guilds, semi-competitive guilds, and competitive guilds. Thank you.